Good evening, everyone. This is the uh, Q&A session nine from the chapter of work, power, and energy, and the topic is uh, uh, spring uh, potential energy and work energy theorem. So today I have taken one question which is available in the uh, in the NCRT book, but this question is uh, slightly modified by me. Basically, I have combined two questions into one, and uh, the question here is a car of mass one thousand kg. <coughs> Moving with a speed of <coughs> eighteen kilometer per hour on a road of uh, coefficient of friction point five collides with a spring of spring constant six point two five into ten to the power three newton per meter during a simulation test. So we have to find the maximum compression of the spring. So in order to save the time, I have already drawn one small figure here. Uh, now in this figure, this is the car. Which is moving uh, uh, in this direction. The motion of the car is uh, in this direction, and it is indicated by this arrow. Uh, now, when this car comes in contact with this spring, then a restoring spring force will act in the opposite direction. That is, this restoring spring force will. be acting in the direction as indicated by this arrow and this direction will be opposite the direction of the motion of the car or you can say it will be opposite to the direction of compression of the spring now at the same time here since the coefficient of friction is uh, equal to 0.5 therefore a frictional force will be uh, acting on this car and since the frictional force opposes the relative motion therefore the direction of this frictional force will be given by this arrow so i have indicated the direction of this frictional force and it is in the opposite direction of the uh, this uh, the uh, compression of the spring the spring is getting compressed in this direction as as indicated by this arrow and the since force of friction opposes the relative motion therefore this frictional force will be acting in the opposite direction of the this uh, direction of the uh, this uh, compression so uh, so in this way now here uh, the restoring force and this friction force are acting in this direction as indicated by this arrow and the compression of the spring is in the opposite direction so here uh, in order to find the maximum compression of the spring we will be using the work energy theorem now the work energy theorem theorem it says that the change in the kinetic energy is equal to the net work done on the body or the change in the kinetic energy is equal to the uh, 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 the work done by the uh, net force which is acting on this body so this is the first thing uh, we will be using this concept here in order to solve this question second thing is that as we have studied in the session number 8 that is the work done by the restoring spring force is equal to minus 1 by 2 kx square where x is the is the compression of the spring so this is the another uh, 
this equation which we, we, we will be using uh, in order to, to solve this question and the third thing this frictional force is uh, <clears throat> acting uh, in uh, the opposite direction of the compression of the spring and the work done <clears throat> Due to the frictional force, will be given by work done is equal to it's a force into displacement. Now, the frictional force is uh, say the frictional force F is equal to mu into n, where n is a normal reaction. So, here I have already made it. Uh, I have already indicated the direction of this normal reaction. This normal reaction is basically equal to the weight of this car. So the weight of this car is equal to m into g and since normal reaction is equal to mg, so the force of friction will be equal to mu mg. Now, this, now the compression of the spring is, 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 is uh, equal to x, so therefore the work done uh, um, due to this frictional force will be equal to minus um, <clears throat> minus mu m g x okay now here uh, you, you can see here this uh, that is the work done in both these cases is is negative why it is negative this the work done is negative because because the uh, the forces, the, the direction of the forces is opposite to the direction of the compression of the spring. Okay, so that is the reason why I have put a minus sign in both these two cases. So, <clears throat> now here, uh, so now, as per the work energy theorem, the change in the kinetic energy is equal to the, uh, the net work done on the body. So, Using this theorem, I can write that the change in the kinetic energy is what? That is the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy and this will be equal to the net work done on the body. So this is equal to minus 1 by 2 kx square. And this we uh, are... Uh, See, uh, so the this will equal to minus 1 by 2 kx square minus mu m g x. So finally, I have got this equation here. Now here I have to find the initial kinetic energy and the final kinetic energy. Now the final kinetic energy will be 0. Because when the uh, spring is fully compressed, then the velocity or you can say the speed of this, uh, uh, this car will be equal to zero. So the final kinetic energy will be equal to zero. The initial kinetic energy is equal to half into m v square. Half m v square. Now here the, uh, the speed of this car is 18 km per hour. So, this has to be converted into meter per second. So, this uh, V will be equal to 18 into 5 by 8. This will be in meter per second, which is equal to 5 meter per second. So, the speed of the car is equal to 5 meter per second and this is this will be substituted in this equation. So, this the initial kinetic energy is equal to half into the mass of this uh, car is 1000. A kg and v is equal to 5 meter per second so v square will be equal to 25 <clears throat> so it implies that the initial kinetic energy is equal to uh, I will just divide it by 2 so this, this will be equal to uh, 5 0 0 and this is equal to 1 2 5 0 0 joules so the initial kinetic energy is equal to 12,500 joule. The final kinetic energy is equal to zero. So we uh, now here uh, x is the is the uh, uh, is the maximum compression of the spring, and uh, now I will be using this equation in order to find the value of x.
Now Kf minus Ki, the, the, the final kinetic energy is 0 minus Ki is, is equal to 12,500. So I will be getting 0 minus 12,500 which is equal to minus 1, 000, uh, 12,500. And this is equal to minus 1 by 2 K x square minus mu m g x. So it implies that this 12,500 will be equal to because this is minus 12,500 minus minus. So finally this equation can be written as 12,500 which is equal to 1 by 2 k. k is the spring constant. Here k is the spring constant. So um, I will be putting the value of k as 6.25 into 10 to the power 3 which is equal to 1000 uh, into x square minus sorry this will be plus now see here it was minus 12500 minus half k x square minus mu mgx so this equation can be written as 12500 which is equal to half into uh, see, that is uh, that is equal to means this minus uh, uh, this is actually uh, minus minus and minus so this can be uh, this equation can be uh, rewritten as 12500 which is equal to half kx square plus mu mgx so so this is equal to half into 6.25 into 1000 into x square plus mu is equal to 0.5 m is 1000 g in this question we are uh, g is to be taken as uh, 10 meter per second square so i have taken g as uh, 10 and into x x is the maximum compression of the spring so now finally i have got this equation and with the help of this equation we can find the value of x which is the maximum value of uh, which is the uh, uh, which will be the maximum compression of the spring. So here it, this is equal to 12,500 and uh, this can be uh, written as this I will just remove this uh, uh, this decimal point so it will can get converted into uh, 6250 divided by 2 6250 divided by 2 x square plus I will remove this decimal, so, uh, decimal point and I can write this as 5 by 10. So 5 by 10 into 10, this will cancel out. So I will be getting as uh, this uh, 5 into 1000, that is equal to 5000 x. So now this equation can be now written as 12,500. This can be written as 3, 1, 2, 5 x square plus 5000 x now i will now uh, do one thing that i will divide this uh, entire equation by 25 if i divide this entire equation by 25 so this 12500 will become equal to uh, 500 and this will be equal to 3125 divided by 25 this is equal to 125 x square and 5000 divided by uh, 25 this will be equal to uh, 25 that is 200 x. Again this equation I can again divide this by uh, 25 so if I divide this to 25 I will be getting as 20 which is equal to 5 x square and this will be equal to uh, 8. 8x so the finally i have landed up with this equation that is 20 is equal to 5x square plus 8x now this is a quadratic equation and uh, so i will be now uh, i have to solve this uh, equation only now in order to get the value of x So I am now writing this equation here that is 5x square 
plus 8x and this minus 20 will be so this 20 will be taken on the right side of this equation so i will be getting the final equation is 5x square plus 8x minus 20 is equal to 0 and uh, so here x will be equal to now i will be since if ax square plus bx plus c now this is the quadratic equation so in that case x is equal to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so i will be using this uh, equation in order to find the value of x so here in minus b means that is equal to minus a plus minus under root b square is equal to 64 uh, minus 4 into a into c minus 4 into minus 4 into a into c now c is here is minus 20 so divided by 2a and now a is 5 so 2a is equal to 10 so x is equal to minus 8 plus minus under root this is equal to 5 or 20 into 20 this is equal to 400 but this is minus and minus will become plus so 400 plus 64 is equal to 464 divided by 10 so x is equal to minus 8 plus minus I will just simply find the square root of 464 now. So, 464. This is equal to 21.54. So, this is equal to 21.54 divided by 10. <clears throat> so, so, it implies, so this can be written as, now since, uh, minus 8 and minus 21.54 cannot be taken because that will give us a negative value. So, our option, the, our correct answer will be x is equal to minus 8 plus 21.54 divided by 10. We cannot take the minus, this value of minus 21.54 because then it will be giving us a negative value. So, I have taken the value of x as minus 8 plus 21.54 divided by 10. This is equal to 21.54 minus 8. This is equal to 13.54. 13.54 divided by 10. So this would be equal to 1.354. So, the maximum compression of the spring will be equal to 1.354 meters. That is, the spring will be compressed up to a length of 1.354 meters. So, in this question, the most important thing uh, was the work energy theorem. That is, we have to use this work energy theorem and... Uh, the work energy theorem says that the change in the kinetic energy is equal to the net work done on the body. So, on the basis of this work energy theorem, this question, uh, we were able to solve this question very easily. And so, the final answer is 1.354 meters. That is, the maximum compression of the spring is equal to 1.354 meters. So, thank you very much for joining this session. And uh, in the next session, I will be coming up with a different type of a question, but it will be uh, from the same topic. So till then, have a nice day. Bye.